Whether you're a self-proclaimed sneakerhead or just an average Joe who likes to gawk at one-of-a-kind shoes, it's impossible not to appreciate some of the footwear available these days. But no matter your level of shoe appreciation, the kicks coming up in this video are guaranteed to leave your jaw on the floor. From sneakers made of fake grass to self-lacing Nikes inspired by Back to the Future, here are some of the most unique and amazing shoes in the world. Grass Sneakers Living in these strange experimental times, it's not unusual to see famous brands dipping their toes in the questionable waters of all things bizarre and oddly intriguing. In 2020, Nike took a step in this oddball direction by releasing a rather unusual take on their Air Max 1 golf shoe. In the spirit of becoming one with nature, feast your eyes on the Air Max 1 grass sneaker. Not to be confused with this old thing someone found in the woods. Originally designed by American sneaker designer Tinker Hatfield, the Nike grass sneaker focuses less on performance and more on appearance. Featuring an astroturf-like exterior, the design was inspired by the rolling lawns of a golf course. But unlike real grass, you won't have to worry about mowing your shoes. Beneath the turf is a golf-ready Zoom Air midsole and Air Max 1 outsole, and to top it all off, Nike trimmed the turf on the sides to feature their iconic white tick. Longtime sneakerheads might, however, miss the Nike Air branding on the heel, which has been lost in the wearable lawn. When they were released in February 2020, the grass sneakers were priced at $140 per pair, but with Nike yet to roll out another batch, they're going for anything from $350 to $800 on eBay. Aside from clearly making a tasty profit, though, it's pretty fun to imagine why people might be reselling these. Maybe they had a humiliating experience of losing their shoes on the lawn. <laughs> or perhaps their dog tried leaving their business on their sneakers one too many times. Either way, I'll leave it up to you to decide whether the Air Max 1 grass sneakers are a hole in one. Space Shoes being named after a Russian space dog that was successfully launched into orbit and returned safely home aboard Sputnik 5 in 1961, the 2004 Nike Svezdochka clearly hypes itself up as an impressive piece of footwear. And despite their name making you sound like you just sneezed, these multi-part modular shoes have indeed been praised for their innovative, waste-saving design. Mark Newson, the designer, got the idea for the shoes after visiting the Russian Space Agency, which inspired him to design footwear astronauts could wear for all purposes while in space. He wanted them to work, relax, and exercise all with a single, easily modifiable shoe. Enter the Nike Svezdochka, the space shoe even mere Earthlings like us can now wear. This futuristic $330 shoe features four interlocking parts, the outer cage, the outsole, the inner sleeve, and the insole. These parts can be worn in multiple combinations, together or separately, for diverse functions and environments. For a slipper-like feel, the inner sleeve, which features Nike Zoom Air cushioning, protects your foot from elements like water and cold temperatures. Couple that with the outer cage and the insole, and you can wear your shoes on a leisurely stroll. And when you're in the mood for something more strenuous, like running or hiking, the interlocking sole provides all the grip and foot support you'll need. While it's arguably not Nike's sleekest design, the interlocking parts free the shoes from many of the adhesives needed in traditional footwear, making them infinitely recyclable. They're also infinitely resellable, it seems, as despite no longer being available to buy new, there are quite a few pairs up for sale on eBay. For anywhere from $200 to $600, if you're lucky, you too can be the proud owner of shoes that are totally out of this world. Teddy Bear Sneakers If you're in the market for some unbearably cute footwear, look no further than the JS Teddy Bear. In what might have been the cuddliest collaboration of all time, designer Jeremy Scott somehow convinced Adidas to put the actual heads and arms of teddy bears on their shoes and sell them to the public. 
These bizarre bear shoes were originally only supposed to come in a single color, a very standard, not very Adidas, creamy brown. But the uncouth color didn't seem to hurt sales, because as soon as the JS teddy bear hit the shelves in 2011, they were sold out. Maybe it had something to do with Lil Wayne debuting them on New Year's Eve, or maybe we humans just have a natural instinct to wear animals on our feet. Either way, Jeremy Scott has since made the JS teddy bear available in pink, gold, and limited edition sparkly silver. These days, they're a little hard to come by, but with Crocs suddenly being considered cool again, I'm sure the equally ridiculous teddy bear sneakers aren't far behind. In the meantime, you can bid to your heart's content on eBay, where a pair of JS teddy bear sneakers will cost you anything from $150 to a whopping $1,400. And while you're processing that ludicrous price, how about you take a moment to subscribe to be amazed? Don't forget to slap the bell too so you don't miss any of my latest uploads. Now, on to our next one-of-kind shoe. Golden Wings if you thought sticking teddy bears on a pair of perfectly good Adidas was the pinnacle of Jeremy Scott's originality, you'd better hold on to your laces for this next one. This particular collaborative escapade began when Adidas released Jeremy's JS Wings and JS Wings 2.0 in 2010 and 2012 respectively. But Jeremy still wanted to fly higher, so in 2015 he introduced the JS Wings 3.0 a pair of shiny high tops that look every bit as fly as their name implies. That is, if you consider looking like a hardcore cosplayer to be fly. Aside from the obvious golden wing-shaped overlays, the sneakers also feature a removable inner sock that adds a unique layer to the sleek design. And to make it worthy of its name as a sports shoe, the midsole, or the layer of shock-absorbing material between the inner and outer soles, was inspired by former professional basketball player Dikembe Mutombo's signature Adidas original line. But just because the soles were designed with playing basketball in mind, doesn't mean they can't be worn to dominate elsewhere. Shortly after their release in 2015, WWE superstar Kofi Kingston stole the show when he stepped into the ring at the SummerSlam event rocking the Golden Wings. As one of the WWE's highest flyers, the choice made sense. And who better to debut the JS Wings 3.0 than the same man who in 2016 wore a pair of custom-made unicorn LeBron soldiers. Those unicorn beauties may not be on sale to the public, but you can get your hands on a pair of JS Wings 3.0s for anything from $350 to $500 online, which isn't too bad for a very sought-after shoe. Considering they originally retailed for $300 a pair, it's quite ironic, really. You'd think the resale profits for sneakers with actual wings would soar sky high. <laughs> Style versus Comfort if Tim Burton had a fashion label, it'd probably resemble the work of Austrian designer Carol Christian Puh, who's known for his unconventional pieces. And by unconventional, I don't mean synthetic grass or teddy bear heads. I mean human hair, metal stitches, and multi-thousand dollar price tags for intentionally worn out shoes that look like they came from the back of your dad's shed. How's that for avant-garde? But one of this designer's signature footwear pieces, the Drip Trainer, despite its name, probably wouldn't give you much drip on the streets. Handcrafted out of calf and kangaroo leather, the sneakers were dyed and dipped in latex before being allowed to hang dry for up to two hours. The last step creates the signature drip sole, which consists of rubbery, dangling stalactites. If I saw someone wearing those, I'd probably think they accidentally stepped in a vat of paint and let it dry that way. But hey, some people might like the feeling of walking on an uneven bed of rubbery nails. Clearly not for the faint of heart, both in looks and price, the drip trainers go for anything from $1,500 to $3,000 online. They're probably not worth it practicality-wise, but for some people, eccentricity beats comfortability any day. The opposite is true, however, for these $200 Kangoo Jumps Rebound Shoes, for which comfortable foot support trumps any sense of style. Kangoo Jumps, described as the world's lowest impact sports shoe, prevents joint injuries thanks to elasticized bands which allegedly absorb 80% of the impact force when you exercise. 
The shoes can be worn by anyone regardless of your fitness level and while performing any high-impact activities like running or jumping. As the name suggests, the kangaroo jumps does indeed give you the slight bounce of a kangaroo. Only unlike the drip trainers, they're not made from the actual animal. Wraparound Shoes while we're on the topic of avant-garde footwear, how about these wraparound shoes that look like the footwear of some kind of eldritch abomination from the mind of H.P. Lovecraft? The Walk of Mind shoes are custom-made from personal foot scans, meaning the size and curvature is unique to every individual. So say goodbye to sharing shoes with your friends, because in true Cinderella fashion, these scaly slippers will only fit you. These peculiar shoes somewhat resemble a leaf you wrap around your foot, and the 3D-printed nylon soles have pebbled surfaces that evenly distribute pressure under your feet. The whole idea behind the shoes are to keep the wearer's feet supported while providing a light barefoot feel. But in order to feel like you're walking on air, being a custom production, each Walk of Mind pair will cost you $1,500. That's pretty pricey, especially since these super stretchy Vibram Furushiki wrap shoes will only cost you around $70 a pair. They're slightly different in the way they cover your entire foot, being made of a non-restricted elasticated wrap system with Velcro as opposed to the solid frame of the Walk of Mind shoes. The stretch fabric material is extremely comfortable and lightweight, meaning you can wear them at the gym, in yoga class, or if you're brave enough while you're out doing everyday tasks. Of course, unlike the Walk of Mind shoes, the Vibram Furushiki wrap shoes might not help you identify your unique foot Cinderella style if a prince comes in search for you, but at least you won't have to worry about them falling off when you're on a run. Yeezy Foam Runner in September 2019, Kanye West teased an all-new Yeezy design in his long-running collaboration with Adidas. But instead of generating excitement, the Yeezy foam runners were dragged on social media for looking like something Crocs would make. The futuristic design is a slip-on crafted from a unique Yeezy material, a blend of algae and naturally occurring polymers which are rubber-like in softness and flexibility. The body of the shoe sports bizarrely breathable holes all around it, while the bottom is rounded out by a herringbone patterned treading similar to the Yeezy Boost 700 and Yeezy Boost 700 V2. But even the magnificent soles of those other, more appealing shoes weren't enough to boost the Yeezy Foam Runner's likability. It was only in June 2020, after the shoes made their way into the hands of major celebrities like Justin Bieber and Kim Kardashian, that the public's view on the Yeezy foam runners began changing. By the time they launched to the public, these strange creps instantly sold out everywhere. In 2021, there are several release dates set for new colors, like Vermilion, Ochre, and Moon Gray. But at around $100 a pair when bought new, they'll almost certainly sell out on release. The rest of the time, I'm afraid you'll have to whip out anything from $200 to a whopping $2,000 for a second-hand pair online. And for that increase in price, these foamy oddities better have been worn by Kanye himself. Famous Shoes Legendary basketball player Kobe Bryant might have left this world in 2020, but his inspirational spirit and sporting impact forever remains. But that's not all Kobe left with us. In 2001, he debuted one of the most unorthodox performance shoes ever created, the Adidas Kobe 2. At first glance, these bulky, much too squarish shoes look like they simply don't belong near a basketball court, much less on the feet of a superstar athlete. And it definitely doesn't help that these black versions look identical to Homer Simpson's shoes. Who knew Homer was a sneakerhead? Conceptualized by designer Eirik Lund Nielsen, the Kobe 2 was meant to be an improvement on the original 2001 Kobe. But like with many reboots, the new and not-so-improved design didn't exactly go down as intended. Shortly after its debut, the Kobe 2's design spawned reviews, calling it, among other things, a monstrosity and the ugliest sneakers Kobe Bryant ever wore. 
Reviewers targeted the Kobe 2's padded, boxy exterior, which, together with its lack of external laces, made it look more like a space boot than a basketball sneaker. It seemed even Kobe himself recognized their ugliness, given that while he donned a special American flag-themed pair on the opening night of the 2001-2002 season, he was rarely ever seen wearing them after that. Today, pairs of Kobe 2's are sold for anything from $300 to $2,500 online. Though if you ask me, the owners should be paying other people to take them off their hands. I mean, it's not like they were Drake's pair of solid gold Air Jordans. Worth well over $2 million, many sneakerheads were dying to see the rapper try them on after he revealed he'd had them commissioned. But to their dismay, Drake revealed his jaw-dropping sneakers weren't for wearing. Professionally sculpted from pure gold, the shoes are basically trophies he keeps in his house for people to admire. Because that's exactly what you're supposed to do with shoes, right? Real Unreal Nikes They might not be made of gold, but these jelly Nike dunks are every bit as eye-catching as Drake's valuable pair of Jordans. Sneaker creative at Serial Artist personally handcrafted the pair as an art project during lockdown. A model of ingenuity, the shoes are completely see-through and were fashioned in both neon green and orange. The outside dons the famous Nike tick and the black laces add a bit of contrast to the single color backdrop. It's a real shame that the shoes, formed of clear pieces of tinted plastic stitched together, aren't additions to any real Nike line. But then again, would plastic sneakers really be all that comfortable? With the total lack of breathability and all the blisters from the hard edges, these might be best left as an art project. Not to mention how you'll always have to make sure your socks are in tip-top shape before showing them off to the world. Still, in terms of lacking practicality, serial artists' jelly Nikes are nothing compared to this pair of glass Nikes. The truly awesome-looking design appeared online in 2019, claiming to depict an actual glass pair of sneakers, presumably for decoration rather than actual wear. However, many sneakerheads were left disappointed when the photo turned out to be little more than a fun yet fake design experiment, rather than being part of any official Nike line. While some sellers do claim to sell these and similar transparent Nikes online, their quality and authenticity is dubious at best, and they're claimed to be made from plastic as opposed to glass. But don't let that stop you from channeling your inner Cinderella. These genuine glass shoes are handcrafted from blown glass by the artisans at Nakamura Glass Studio in Japan and are sold for $700 per shoe. That's right. Because they're custom-made to the shape of each wearer's foot, the shoes aren't sold in pairs. So, if glass shoes are your heart's desire, you can forget about going from rags to riches. Because without a fairy godmother, or in this case a bank loan, you'll probably go from riches to rags instead. Glow-in-the-dark Yeezys if your sneaker game is in serious need of a glow-up, look no further than the Yeezy Boost 350B2 Glow. Once again, coming from the mind of Kanye West, these glow-in-the-dark sneakers hit shelves in 2019 and, as expected, sold like crazy. But you might be wondering, how exactly are they able to glow in the dark? Well, the slime green exterior has been treated with a phosphor-rich dye which possesses the quality of phosphorescence, meaning its molecules give off light for a long time after being energized in the sun or under bright artificial light. Because these glowing Yeezys were a limited edition release, they're currently sold out in the official Adidas store. They are, however, available for around $650 online, which is a fair bit steeper than their original retail price of $200. $50. But if you really want to stand out at the club, or just don't want to get hit by a car when crossing the street at night, the Yeezy Boost glow-in-the-dark sneakers might just be for you. Candy Shoes For those of you with a sweet tooth who also love shoes, I present to you Lolis, a shoe collection inspired by Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. This mouth-watering range was the 2009 graduation work of designer Belma Arnutovic at the Academy of Fine Arts in Sarajevo, Bosnia. From red and white candy canes to gumdrops, Belma's delightfully delectable shoes are a completely wearable way to show the world you're sweet at heart. 
The Candied Collection features bright colors, patent leather, beads, and ribbons. Two of the most striking pairs of the bunch are the short white boots with gumdrops stuck to the heels and the bizarre-looking slip-ons with hollowed-out toes you can fill with candy. Or if candy's not your thing, you could fill them with dog treats for your pup or pretzels for a quick salty snack. Then again, you'd basically be eating food off the ground, so maybe it's not the most hygienic idea. With that considered, perhaps it's best that Belma's designs are yet to make an appearance in any stores. Anyway, I for one won't be needing any candy shoes. I'm sweet enough. Boombox Shoes Calling someone the life of the party gets a brand new meaning when they're wearing these ridiculous high tops. These hilariously impractical boombox sneakers were shared online way back in 2008, and besides being merely a bit of concept art, have a few shortcomings. For starters, very few music CDs are actually small enough to fit in the shoe, and even if they could, the walking motion would likely scratch up the disc. Besides, who even listens to CDs anymore? Luckily, there's a very real alternative to the boombox sneaker available to buy today with a slightly more modern twist. The Shoe Beat sneakers might be missing laces, but they've got something better. One of the pair comes fitted with a Bluetooth speaker that promises to deliver seamless audio quality when connected to your phone. But seeing as the shoe beats only cost around $19 at Walmart, the quality may leave a little to be desired. In addition to the sneakers, your purchase also comes with a USB charger, which reportedly charges the little loudspeaker surprisingly quickly. The only problem is the product doesn't specify the speaker's battery life, so don't go planning for four-hour dance shows with the music blasting out of these things. That said, being widely available for cheap, it couldn't hurt to at least try a pair out, assuming you don't mind being that person who plays their music out loud in public. Tentacle Heels Have you ever looked at your feed and thought, meh, not enough tentacles? Filipino designer Kermit Tesoro has you covered. The tentacle heels, or polyposis as they're officially called, feature eight vibrant blue octopus-like tentacles on the bottom of each shoe, perfectly intertwined to not only hold your foot in place, but also help you balance while you walk. It may not look like it at first, but the shoes are actually handcrafted from wood and decorated with glossy paints. Not exactly the most comfortable or practical design, but who needs comfort when you can channel your inner Ursula whenever you need a boost of comfort? confidence. Unfortunately, you won't find Kermit de Soto's heels in your local mall. The shoes are a complete one-of-a-kind and were featured in an exhibition at the Cube Design Museum in the Netherlands in 2018. I guess that means you'll have to stick with duct-taping squids to your feet for now. Self-lacing shoes Sorry to break it to you, but only peasants tie their own laces nowadays. That's because in 2016 and 2020 respectively, Nike introduced two groundbreaking pairs of sneakers that rendered the shoelace bow a thing of the past. The 2016 Nike HyperAdapt 1.0 shoe has a sensor, battery motor, and cable system that adjusts the laces based on algorithmic calculations of the pressure it detects on your foot. When your foot is inserted, the shoe tightens automatically until it senses friction points, at which point it always stops, so you don't have to worry about your feet being cut off by your own shoes. And if they're too tight for your liking, there are two buttons on the side to loosen them to your comfort. But that's not all. The soles also feature a very nifty light that activates when the laces tighten. As impressive as that already is, the designers at Nike wanted to do more. That's when the Adapt BB came to life. With a price tag of only $350 instead of the Hyper Adapt $720, the new and improved self-lacing shoe actively loosens and tightens based on how the wearer's foot changes over time. Taking basketball as inspiration, Nike considered how the athletes' feet started to swell once their blood gets pumping, requiring a looser shoe to properly breathe. Using laces similar to those found in snowboarding boots, this power lacing system, called Fit Adapt, can also be controlled via an app. And as if it couldn't be any more futuristic, when the battery runs low, you simply place the shoe on a wireless charging mat. 
Best of all, it only takes three hours for the shoes to fully recharge, and after that, they last up to two weeks. With all of this, I think Back to the Future's Marty McFly would definitely approve of what Nike's managed to create. After all, the original self-tightening kicks Michael J. Fox wore in the iconic 80s blockbuster were sold at an auction for nearly $100,000 in 2018, despite falling apart at the seams. And while the prop shoes sadly weren't really self-lacing, Nike did release a very real version of the famous shoes in 2016. Only 89 pairs were produced, and they all featured the adaptive fit technology of the HyperAdapt 1.0. Michael J. Fox was the first to score a pair. Free of charge, of course, but the rest were sold at an auction that raised a whopping $6.75 million for the Michael J. Fox Foundation of Parkinson's Research. Luckily, with the Adapt BB now in stores, you don't need to cough up thousands of dollars to get in on that self-tightening action. So, grab yourself a pair, along with Elon Musk's Tesla truck and a flux capacitor, and you're all set to star in your own medium-budget remake of Back to the Future 2. What are the most unique shoes you've ever come across? Let me know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.